Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Technology Strategy and Development Team, TSD. The video you are viewing will demonstrate the upgrade process of the Services Virtual Machine to release 3.0. The video you are watching will detail the steps to upgrade the Services Virtual Machine within System Platform to the latest release which is 3.0.0.0.11. The minimum release of system platform is 6.3.1. However, depending upon the product application, different service packs may need to be applied and the release notes should be consulted before installing the services virtual machine. Very little input is required to perform the upgrade. Shown are the four options that could be changed if needed and pressing the upgrade button will start the process. The final step is to commit the upgrade after validating the install. There's one final question and that is why perform the SVM 3.0 upgrade? To answer that question, the SLA Monitor 2.0 is implemented in this release of the services virtual machine. Go to support.avaya.com for specific details of what SLA Monitor will provide your business. Let's perform the upgrade. I have logged into the Midsize Enterprise 6.2.2 system and from the Virtual Machine Management dialog, I have selected Templates. I now have a page where I could select either the Midsize Enterprise Template Upgrade button or the Services Virtual Machine button. Selecting the Upgrade button for SVM, it opens a dialog where I can select from a number of ways to deliver the upgrade software to the platform to be installed. I have selected the SP slash DVD choice and pressed search. The search has delivered me two choices it is found on the DVD. It is very important to select the choice of services underscore VM underscore small dot OVF if you are installing on an S8300D or a common server one. The services underscore VM medium OVF choice is for common server two only. Clicking on the services VM small dot OVF choice and pressing the select button advances us to the template details page. After looking at the template specifics, pressing the Upgrade button provides the networking details associated with the current running services virtual machine. Press the Save button to go to the dialog where some of those networking values could be changed if needed. Pressing the Upgrade button at this time starts the actual upgrade. I have taken the liberty to employ some fast motion video to show the complete set of install processes that are occurring. Use your video player control to stop or back up if desired to examine a particular part of or an individual item that might be of interest. I will return when it is time to commit the upgrade. The upgrade is now at the point where I'm able to commit and complete the process. There is a 240 minute window to commit what was just performed. My suggestion is to log into the SVM and perform some quick checks so you are comfortable the upgrade was a success before performing the commit step. For this demonstration I am now committing the upgrade and this will take a few minutes to complete. Upon finalizing the upgrade, you will receive a pop-up that indicates the upgrade was successful.
Closing that pop-up and going back to the Virtual Machine Management main page shows the services virtual machine is now at release 3.0.0.0.11. Lastly, looking at the system platform file manager, you can see a directory has been created called services underscore vm underscore small, which contains the install files for that virtual machine just installed. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.